Welcome, I'm Anitha at Mimi George Branch Library in Stafford. In this presentation, we will learn when you create an online account, why you need a strong password to be cyber secure. Why a strong and unique password matters. From our email to our social media to our online banking, password allows us to ensure that only we can access the information that's most valuable to us. But not all passwords are created equal. Here is why creating a strong password is so essential for cybersecurity. Passwords are the key to our digital life. Why a strong, unique password matters. Password security is most important because it is all that stands between our account and cyber criminal accessing our information. If we have a weak password, it is that much easier for cyber criminal to steal our information. A strong password doesn't offer you 100% security, but it is the easiest and most effective means we have at protecting our accounts. Why strong and unique password matters. Take an email for example. Our email inbox contains tons of information for someone to access our identity. For, but more importantly than that, our email acts as a gateway for some, so many other accounts such as Facebook, Twitter, online banking, and more. If a cyber criminal were to access, get access to our email, they could use the password recovery feature to access our other accounts. That is why it is so important to pay attention to password security. Create a strong password. A strong password has least 15 characters, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, symbols, such as question mark, parentheses. Never use sequential numbers or letters such as A, B, C, D, E, F, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and never ever use the word password as a password. Come up with unique passwords that do not include any personal information such as your name or birthday. Do not use common phrase like, let the force be with you. Make it long. This is most critical factor. Choose nothing shorter than 15 characters, more if possible. Use mix of characters. The more you mix up letters, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols, the more secure your password is, and the harder it is for anyone to crack it. Avoid common substitution. Password hackers know all the usual substitution. Whether you use doorbell or door A377, it will be easy to crack it. These days, Random character placement is much more effective than common lead speak substitution. Lead speak definition is an informal language or a code used on the internet in which standard letters are often replaced by numerals or special characters. Do not use memorable keyboard paths, so, uh, much like the advice above. Do not use sequential letters and numbers. Do not use sequential keyboard pads either. These are among the first to be guessed at. Have a different password for every account. It is not enough to just create a strong password. It is also important to have a password for different online accounts. It is particularly important for any account involving banking or finance. Be careful which website you visit. Security conscious websites will hash its user's password so that even if the data gets out, the actual passwords are encrypted. But other websites don't bother with that step. 
be, uh, before creating an account, creating a password, and entrusting a website with sensitive personal information, take a moment to assess the site. Does it have the HTTPS in the address bar? Ensuring a secure connection. If it does not, think twice before sharing any personal data with it. It is also important to use, important to commit password to memory and not to store them in a computer or mobile phone. Also, if the website or browser asks you to keep you signed in, unclick that option and take the time to re-enter your password each time. Many services offer option to verify your identity if someone logs in logs onto your account from unrecognized device such as your work computer, a laptop. A typical method is, you, is to send a text or type a message to a mobile device register to you with a code that you need to type in to verify it's really used. This is a two-factor method. In most cases, you will not be required to use the Use this code when logging into known device such as your personal computer, tablet, or phone. There are also multiple factor uh, ways to verify you. Most of the time, it's something you have, something you know, and something you are. Stop, think before connecting online. Don't use the same password for multiple services or website. Don't share your password with anyone. Don't provide your password in response to a phone call or an email. Don't provide your password to a website you have access by following a link in an email. It may be a phishing trap. Be cautious about using a password protected service on a public computer or over a public Wi-Fi. Treat PIN the same way as you would a password. PIN, personal identification number, is a set of personal numbers used to provide positive identification. If you think your password may have been compromised, change it immediately and check for any unauthorized activity. Your password is all that separates cyber criminal from information that can cost you time, money, and your identity. Thank you.